Hey, what's up guys, John here. Joe Biden is intending to combat climate change and racial inequality by changing the zoning laws on all homes throughout America with his America's Families Plan. This is gonna greatly change all of real estate investing. And in this video, I'm gonna go over an article on whitehouse.gov about what he's intending to do and show you why it's gonna make so much more sense for builders to go into these really nice communities and build affordable housing. And then essentially what will likely happen is these communities are greatly gonna change and the values of these communities are going to fall. Right now, lumber costs have increased 171% in just the last 15 months. 171% and lumber costs are a fifth of overall construction cost. So builders right now are very nervous. They're paying more than ever to build properties and the whole market is held up by low interest rates. So if that changes, affordability of what buyers can pay changes and then builders can be in a very vulnerable position. And right now there's 700,000 construction companies out there taking advantage of this huge surge for single family homes. However, Joe Biden's plan is going to give a gold mine for them to come here and start building out really affordable housing in these communities, which is going to just change real estate in America. So with that being said, please smash that like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's gonna share the content and educate more real estate investors. People that are in the market right now are intending to get in the market, and they will then use that information to make a smart decision for themselves and their families. So please hit that like button, let's begin. This is straight from whitehouse.gov. Eliminate exclusionary zoning and harmful land use policies. For decades, exclusionary zoning laws like minimum lot sizes and mandatory parking requirements and prohibitions on multifamily housing have inflated housing and construction costs and locked families out of areas with more opportunities. So obviously what he's just saying right now is that the housing costs in these communities are inflated and his plan is to deflate these communities and bring the values down to a more affordable level. President Biden is calling on Congress to enact an innovative new competitive grant program that awards flexible and attractive funding to jurisdictions to take concrete steps to eliminate such needless barriers to producing affordable housing. Now, when you're building a property, this is generally how builders look at property. A, the value of the land, B, what it's actually gonna cost them to build it, and C, how much they could actually sell it for in the open market. And what they sell it for versus their actual cost, obviously, is the profit. And they weigh the profit on the risk. Now, with building these multi-unit properties in these higher-end communities, essentially, what happens is they eliminate a lot of that risk because there's a high demand to get in these communities and they don't need a down payment. Renters don't need a down payment to go there. They can simply just pay a little bit more rent. So there's gonna be high demand to go in these great communities. Now, when you look at the numbers on building a single family home versus building apartments, you'll start to see that it's gonna make so much more sense for builders to do this. And a single family lot, let's just say hypothetically it's $200,000 for the lot. And the price per square foot now to build is $200 per square foot. So 2,000 square foot house at $200 per foot is $400,000 to build the overall structure. And then 200,000 for the lot, $600,000 in cost. And let's say that they sell for 800,000, their gross profit is 200,000, not including carrying costs, not including agent fees and things of that nature. So maybe they make 120,000. So with that being said, it hardly makes sense. However, let's just say that they build six units in that same community where they don't need to supply parking. So basically now this community is gonna be covered. The streets are gonna be covered with parked cars and they can build six units there. So the lot is 200,000. The total square foot of each unit, 700 square feet. These are two bedroom units and that's 4,200 square feet. At $200 per square foot is $840,000 for the construction plus the cost of land. They're all in for a million 40. However, if each unit is renting for $1,500 times six units, that's $9,000 per month. $9,000 per month times 12 months in a year gives them $108,000 in gross scheduled income. This gross scheduled income is important because it sets up what we then call the net operating income is when we factor in for 
taxes, repairs, vacancies, evictions, these things. And that is essentially about 30% of the overall gross scheduled income, which is gonna give a net operating income of $75,600. Let's say that the cap rate in that community is 5%. And cap rate is essentially net operating income divided by the purchase price. This is how investors look at these properties and they gauge the risk reward on buying these properties. So with that being said, this market value would be about a million five twelve. So they might be able to go list it for a million five, sell it for a million five, versus building out a single family home and hoping to sell it for 800,000. So they're taking a lot less risk with these units and most importantly, if the market changes, they can always lease out the building. And with these low interest rates today, they'd easily be able to hold the property and cash flow it. Whereas the single family home, that is one huge liability. Not considering all of these new grants that the that Big Brother is gonna start offering, all these tax credits, they're gonna do everything that they can do to offer jobs and push this agenda forward. And so when they do, the values are gonna greatly fall in these communities and builders are gonna say, hey, I can make a fortune building all these affordable housing of properties and communities in these luxury A and B neighborhoods, it makes more sense to do that. So I'm gonna go do that. And President Biden is calling on Congress to produce, preserve, and retrofit more than a million affordable, resilient, accessible, energy efficient, electrified units. What this means is he wants to change the way the utilities are run into properties, how they are built, and what the requirements are gonna to be to build properties in America. And he's going to take this one step further by pushing this throughout all of America, where we have to now change our properties and retrofit them and draw in energy the way that he wants. And it's gonna really price a lot of people out of the market. However, through targeted tax credits, formula funding, grants, and project-based rental assistance, Biden's plan will extend affordable housing rental opportunities to underserved communities nationwide, including rural and tribal areas. So essentially, he wants to expand welfare and big brother assistance build and rehab more than 500,000 homes for low and middle income buyers. President Biden is calling on Congress to take immediate steps to spur the construction and rehabilitation of homes for underserved communities. Specifically, he is calling on Congress to pass the innovative bipartisan Neighborhood Homes Investment Act, NHIA, offering $20 billion of NHIA tax credits over the next five years will result in approximately 500,000 homes built or rehabbed, creating a pathway for more families to buy a home and start building wealth. 500,000 homes. Um, in Maine, for example, Maine has 742,000 homes. So comparable with Maine, he wants to have that level of impact on housing. So in over five, in five years, that, that's a huge, huge goal. So with that being said, what we're gonna see for our safety and for the affordability crisis and to combat climate change and racism and all of these big problems America's facing, the solution to all of this is big brother assistance and allowing very low income, quote unquote, affordable housing to enter in to a lot of these communities. They're gonna do this, then they're going to modernize our schools in these communities, change the education in these communities, and have more control over what the kids learn inside these communities. So with that being said, they are going to have a much bigger grip of Americans through this plan to help combat inequality. So we're gonna see something really big happen very soon. It's slowly happening now. And when I say slowly, I mean, look at all the changes happened in the last 15 months. If you were to call anything that happened over the last 15 months, a year ago, someone would have called you crazy. But now this is all just, it's just all happening. It's all happening. It's really interesting. It's shocking. And people aren't talking about it. This all just goes under the radar. I don't think it stops with just real estate. We look at BlackRock and Blackstone, and we hear a lot about sustainable development, investing in green and energy, and being very aware of our impact in the environment. We're hearing that over and over and over again with stakeholder capitalism as well, which is where we're all responsible. So with that being said, I think the next five years will be very different and unlike anything that we've experienced in the past. Now, I know a lot of people out there are investing. A lot of people are doing really well right now. However, long term, it'll be very interesting to see how these investments hold out. 
because I personally believe that we are witnessing some very big change coming to America. I'm not saying it's going to be a huge, huge epic crash, although it's very likely because Big Brother is holding up the entire economy right now with low interest rates and a lot of these forbearance and eviction moratoriums, everything's pushed out. The entire economy is really held up by them. So I'm not saying that they're going to just pull the chair out under it. However, it's very likely that they do because then they use that big change to say, you know what, what we had in the past was not sustainable. We need to build a new and build back better and do this. So that being said, we need more affordable housing and more control over your everyday lives. That's very likely, but we'll see how this all unfolds. Number one rule here with investing is don't invest more than you can afford to lose and be very, very smart and strategic with your investments right now and be aware of where we're going. So with that being said, please smash that like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's gonna share the content and educate more people. Also, consider subscribing for more content on personal finance, real estate, business, and money. See you guys in the next video. Hey, if you'd like to learn how to get started on YouTube, click the link in my bio. It's a free live training. And if you'd like to learn how to invest in cash flowing multifamily real estate for beginners, there's a link there as well. All right, guys.